Well, hello, YouTube friends and fans. Today, I'm working on a project that maybe I shouldn't, but I don't want to buy a new chop saw. So, let me show you what we're going to do here and what's going on. AZ Creations thanks you for watching. Please press the red subscribe button for more featured videos in the future. Now on with the show. All right, so what we got, get this guy laying down here. Watch the guard. It broke off right here. So I already took this partially apart and put in this bolt. Now I gotta take off this cover right here. So, let me bring in here so you can get a better view. So we got the bolt, and I'm going to run a rod from there back to probably about here. And I'm going to make this a point of anchor, and probably back here somewhere, so it's going to be like a piece of triangle metal maybe and then it's going to be a slotted arm that comes up and grabs the bolt is my thought and what it hoping to do is that, that would pull from up there at a tall vantage point so when I push it down it'll pull in my theory it should work let's see how well it works in practicality so as I'm looking at this there's a bolt hole right here. So I'll take this guy out and get rid of that. Thought I needed the Allens, but I don't think I do. I just need to maybe I do need the Allens. Let's see if we can get her off. grind it down but let's see if we can get it off a pair of pliers look at that can't turn it with a impact but ta -da! So what I'm hoping to do is mount the plate right here, go straight up and right off the top even. So when this starts down, it'll pull. That's the plan. Trying to make clearance so it all works. Got a piece of cardboard here, we'll put it up against it where I want it. Same thing, there's a hole down here in the front. Just to mop this up, it's not to do anything else. Alright, so I gotta get my parallel plane across there, find me a uh, level to do so. We'll cut this out of metal, probably uh, something like that.
pretty good other than I need to clean it up. Edges are rough, drill holes, got burrs. Got the plate, all the holes to be drilled. <clears throat> gonna mock it up and that's why you mock it up because I didn't drill the hole big enough all right let's try it again here So much for my template. That hole was off sixteenth of an inch. Let's drill it a third time. So we made each hole bigger. <clears throat> Let's see if we can uh, make it slip over just enough to line up. I just need to go from here to here. Looks like a five inch from hole to hole. Happened to have this off of my RV project. Not exactly what I want, but it might work. So we'll use it to mock it up. All right, let's see if it uh, does what I want it to do. Well, yes and no. We'll try moving it down and see if that makes any difference. All right, so what we got here is a pivot point back here, here, and here. Back to the drawing board. All right, so done a bunch of trialing, and here's what I kind of started with two flat pieces of metal. They're slotted. So the one on there, and just basically let that run right there. That's pretty good. But it doesn't let the head come all the way up. The slot needs to be longer. So I can drill that out if I want. So my next train of thought was to give myself a full slot, fixed point right here, and let's see what happens. You notice I got three holes? bottom hole is where I wanted it to be. It doesn't pull from there. The 
clamps on there to make the positive stop of where I actually think I want it to be. So I'm pretty happy with that. Obviously cut this bolt off. Put a little thread locker on this. All right, still got play there. Alright, let's uh, give this a whirl, see how we did. Alrighty friends, thanks for watching. You got any uh, suggestions that might improve it? Leave the comment below. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you would. And may all your projects go well. Take care.